Ooh, uh, they're probably going to attack me again. Yeah, and I can no longer retreat, so I will lose these guys. Yep. Hello everyone, I'm Boiler and I welcome you to episode 11 of Humankind. Yeah, you are looking at the uh, great Khmer Empire with its little vassal Rome over here. <laughs> oh, Rome is so Rome is so uh, embarrassing in this game. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, we uh, we finished our war in the last episode. Uh, then we gained another territory up here. Um, unfortunately, it's also a city. Um, I don't really know if I need two cities up here, actually. And we have a te uh, technology... Oh, uh, what the hell? Uh, we have a technology that we could... Um, research. Actually, we'll do that as the next, uh, as the next technology. Because that will allow us to uh, merge cities do i want to actually i wanted to do this way Be this will allow us to merge cities so we could just merge these two together because i don't really see two cities up here i just see one uh, and this will just give us the opportunity to uh, go for phaistos which is a greek city that is really in our way i have to say because uh, we can't go we can't go over land between these two territories. You always always have to go down here. So this is actually a strategic um, decision to take. This it's not just like we want to go bigger. It is it is pu purely strategic. So uh, just like it was strategy to go after Babylon because that was also cutting off territories uh, because it protruded down here and because of the lake and the mountain everyone who wanted to go from here to here needed to go around all that stuff here. So uh, that was the reason for taking Babylon and it will be the reason for taking Phaistos because we didn't we gained that that we didn't really want that but now that we have it we uh, added this little bit over here as well and now we need to finish our conquest up with uh, getting Phaistos so we can travel between these two territories there. Yeah, that's. Uh, let's see how far we can get this uh, this turn with the, with those plans. It will take some time, of course, to research this uh, technology. So we'll see. Yeah, and our uh, scouts are on their way to uh, find new territories. Yeah, 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 yeah. Resource old, whatever. So we have found the Ganines over here. Uh, do we want to do anything with these Fall guys? In. I don't think so. There's a curiosity up there. We definitely want to have a look at that. Uh, can we move? No, we can't. So, uh, what do we have? Memphis has finished its research quarter. What else can we build? We are really, we are doing really good on everything. Uh, except we might grow a little bit faster. Don't you think so? Let's see. Do we lose anything here? No, we don't. We can't just build a farmer's quarters right there. But this is even better. Uh, except we will lose... Uh, we will lose um, a lot of production, actually. So we don't want that. It's plus 20, but it will cost us a lot of production. The same there. The same there. Uh, we don't lose anything there, and it's plus 14. And, and right there, we'll lose production. This is plus 12. Well, plus 14 sounds good, doesn't it? So we'll do that one. Okay. And that's it. That has been it for this turn, actually. Culture chosen. So the Cartaginians reached the medieval era with the Byzantines. Okay. Yeah, um, the Byzantines are basically the Romans. So the Cartaginians are now their worst enemy, just in another era. <laughs> okay. Uh, population gain. Yeah. Euro star. The Astid star has been unlocked. Yeah, we are we are really close actually. So all we need are a few more districts, uh, a few more unit 
next killed or two more research so and we can already progress to the next era but we'll probably stay quite a little bit in this era because we want to unlock more stars and because we want the ai to actually catch up a bit this will be the first time that we can actually enter the era first i think i think last times we were beat by the huns um that then became the Aste uh, the aztecs and this time we s we will f this will the first to be the first time that we are actually the first uh empire to reach the next era that's actually cool so um let's get that curiosity and don't say carcasses again please oh actually it's a wreck uh, providing 100 influence and 80 knowledge. Yeah, that is great. That, that's something we can actually use. So what do we have here? Uh, we built a water mill. Now let's see. Yes, it actually doesn't work. No, we will not get production on the river if there is a farm on it. Okay, that was a waste of whatever. It was a waste, just a waste. Um, so let's then build a uh, palisade. And let's end the turn. Okay. Uh, let's move our army. Why do I need to acknowledge that every turn? That they, they, can't they just move? So we are actually at a dead end here, uh, unless we want to go into Ghanaian territory, which I don't really feel like currently. Um, so we'll just end the turn. So we are now actually going quite fast through the game, because we, there's not much to do right at the moment. We have an osmosis event, we have our army that we need to acknowledge, whatever, I don't know, I don't understand. So these guys... They look like the 300 Spartans a little bit, just just a little bit less red. <laughs> These Greek hoplites up there. We need to be careful here. What do we have here actually? Oh, we can upgrade these guys to what? To crossbowmen. How much better are they? So they have 6 movement, 27 strength. Uh, they have only 4 movement. And a little bit more strength. Um... I don't know why I would upgrade them. I don't see any reason to actually. So we'll just leave these guys be. So you can go... Go down there please and uh, then we'll explore these uh, little islands down there. So Memphis has built another farmer's quarter. Um, and why don't I see the change in food actually? I don't know. So uh, we need... Do we want to have more industry? <clears throat> So we are now losing stability and we will start losing more stability if we um, build more districts. So the question is, what is that? This is a quadrium. Do we want to uh, build any of that stuff? Plus two influence for 12 turns. Well, that's not really, that's not really worth it, isn't it? Uh, we are growing quite fast now. Garrison is actually plus 5 stability. A garrison. Do we want the garrison? I mean, we could, we could build one here. What is that? That is a stone field. Do we need... What is that? What is that doing? District fortification plus five stability, combat strength in for units in, in or adjacent to the district on garrison. Okay. Uh, that is something if you have like a bottleneck, which here we don't. I mean, we would need to build at least. Yeah, there's a bottleneck down there, but I don't think enemies would attack through there. Um, so where, there's a little bit of a bottleneck here, but not much. I mean, it's something that would make sense, like, between these mountains. That, that would make total sense to block off enemies from going through there. But we don't need to concern ourselves with that, I think. I mean, it would be great here. 
to hinder the Greeks from going through here actually but we are in Memphis right so oh Jesus Christ we can't we can't claim a wonder right all wonders are currently claimed we, we won't get new ones until the next era so um, what can we build here do we want to build another harbor no we can only have one okay right um do we want more industry plus 21 well actually let's let's build another industry quarter and we can then we can make a commons quarter if we need one currently i think it's okay So let's move our armies, Jesus Christ. Um, let's see, so Parsa, Parsa is, uh, well, they will be at maximum size in a moment. Great. So we'll, we'll build, actually, we'll build the walls. And then we'll have a look into expanding. Plus one, plus two research slots. Plus one science per population. Actually, I don't think we need that that fast. So what can we do in terms of production? Not much, only this one, but this is a woodland. Uh, but I think it's about, there's a forest over there. There's another forest over there. So actually that will be a good investment then we'll build a library plus one science per population because that will give us 17 science in this city which is great so we'll definitely do that resource sold yeah whatever change of reputation yeah 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 whatever let's move our army what is this ah it's a, it's a vassal that's why it has this blue dot road down there so kusa 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 how big can you get you can get to size 15. Um, okay, you are stable currently. Plus 4 influence on main plaza. Um, plus 2 research slots. Uh, we are not doing, doing too great on food. So actually let's build this one on the harbor here. Uh, did we build a stone wall? Yes, we have stone walls. So... Yeah, you can go back to producing uh, stuff that will help you grow. So, this one is plus two food on river. Now, let's actually do that one. And then let's do that one as well. Uh, then let's do that one. So, you have, you have something to do for the next few turns. So, and here we are building the, um, the aqueduct. Which will be finished soon. Okay, so you are now down here and you will explore these islands. Uh, well, if there are any more. So, um, let's see. Okay, there's not much to explore down here, I see. Yeah, so uh, let's have a look at... Yep, now we have a problem with our stability. We need to build a common squad. The question is where? Oh, we'll lose so much stuff there. We don't do that. Um... We don't want to do that. And I keep forgetting that this is also part of our main... Of our capital, so... <laughs> we'll probably need to uh, start building stuff down there as well, huh? So, let's see. Where can we build this without losing too much? So we'll gain... If we build it there... We'll lose... What do we lose? We'll lose one food. But we gain t 10 stability. Yeah, okay. Let's let's build it up there. 
So, Dur Kurigalzu. Uh, why can't we... We are still very low on uh, stability, but uh, it is improving. It is improving. So, what else can we do to improve stability up here? Um, Jesus Christ. So, there are no more buildings we can do. No. Um, so, let's have a look at districts then. What is this? What did they build? Farmer quarters, research quarter, farmer quarters, market quarter, farmer quarter, and two makers quarters. No, that's two. Sorry, and one research quarter. So a commons quarter could, for example, be there. We'll we'll lose two food, though. And it doesn't really matter where we build it, we will lose two food. No, we'll only lose one food um, if we do it over there. We'll gain less stability from it, but we can still, uh, we can make obviously a district right there and then we'll have the bonus back. Uh, what is it like here? 15? Minus two food? Oh, that's because we have, uh, we have farms quarters all around it, so... Hmm. Plus 10, plus 15. Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's do it right there. Let's do it right there. Because these are... There's nothing on there. What is that? Dry grass, cave. Yeah, whatever. Can we, can we actually buy this? We could. But I don't see the need to do this, so uh, we'll, we'll just leave it. So Velsna, Velsna, Velsna needs to grow faster, Jesus Christ. Uh, how are you doing on stability? Not too great. Uh, but we could build uh, this thing and then it would be okay. So where can we build a farmer's court? This is plus 10, plus 5, plus 14, plus 9, 7, 9, 11. So the plus 14 obviously is the best one here. So let's do that. And let's end the turn. New grievance Sovereign, available. How can I help you? Uh, the Norseman rejected the plea to adopt your slave civic choice demand change slaves. This grievance will apply. Why do I want to do that? Norse? Well, um, we could gain this little sliver of territory here. That would be actually that would actually be cool. So if we could go to war with them, but they're quite powerful. But yeah, why not? Why not? Crisis. Your mine is infected. A purge is required. Only gold can set this right. So change you are my time and yours. Are you done? Okay, thank you. Now, now uh, let me speak, please. So, um, trade route blocked. Yeah, whatever. Trade route blocked. Demand received. Demand received. Uh, I will refuse these. Obviously. Despite your good intentions, to accept so little would tarnish my glorious name. Circumstances have changed. I withdraw my demand. Okay. You have made a wise decision. So very unexpected. What do we have here? Relations. So they have quite a high war support. Uh, which worries me. I'll probably have to start building some units down here. We have two armies currently. We have a third one that we can bring in quite quickly and the fourth one we can also bring in if needed but i feel like i would actually actually need another army yeah i want one more army down here but actually i want one in thebes that could react to a war with the norsemen quickly as well so we would be in a good position to go to war with greek with greece or with uh with the Norsemen. So the let's have a look here. Oh, there's another curiosity, and we will get that next turn. Heavy infantry research, great swordsman. So we can actually, I think, upgrade some uh, units now. Uh, can you go in there? You need to declare war. Why? 
So who are you? Who are you guys? Owned by the English. What concerns you today? Relations. You are at peace. Treaties. Uh, do we have demands? My demands. Hmm. We have a high war support, but I don't want to go to war with the British right now, so... I suppose I can waive this one. Go about your way. I commend your decisions. So uh, now I want open borders with you. Hail, friend. I have a notion which would benefit us both. Come now, do you think so little of me? Let there be more. How As much money do you fit. want? How much money do you... Do we need that? Uh, Biblos. Biblos is the... Uh... Ghanaians. And once we have that, we should be able to go all the way over there. So, English, and then we should be alright. Yes, so actually, I think that's worth it. I need to see how much money we need to upgrade our units. Let me have a look here. We cannot upgrade these swordsmen to... Yeah, we can afford that easily. Let's upgrade all our swordsmen. We won't upgrade our chariots. Uh, we can upgrade these to pikemen. Okay. We'll do that as well. Uh, where's the rest of our armies? Uh, let's upgrade these guys. And then we have one over here. We can upgrade these guys. And we can also upgrade these guys. Yeah, we uh, we now need a little, quite a bit of money, oh, but uh, that's fine. That's fine. We're getting something in return. Okay. Did I did I get all of the guys? I think so. Yes, I think so. Okay. We can. We still can't upgrade our. Um, where are they? We still can't upgrade these guys, no. So that means... Yeah, let's actually... Accept. Please to accept your proposal, friend. You are the pride of your empire. Yeah, 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 whatever. I just want to go over here and... Uh, actually, let's go down there. Uh, what? These are the English, okay? And we have open borders with the English. Yes, we have open borders, so, okay. Oh, everything should be fine. You so, are leaving the greatest mark of any empire upon the history of the world and the face of the planet. Why? Ready, all we have found another wreck, which is great. Curiosity collected. Um, resource sold. Grievance available. Why? Uh, Jesus Christ, we just made... We just... What? Why do you? Why are you attacking me? Uh, retreat! Jesus Christ! Why? I mean, I just made open borders with you guys. What is going on? I will definitely. This is my people without consequences. Show your generosity to my people, and we'll let this one go. This is a farce! Ah, Jesus Christ. I'll definitely refuse Despite that. Despite your good intentions, to accept so little would tarnish my glorious name. Things change. I withdraw my demands. Okay. <laughs> Respecting your betters, eh? What the hell is going on with diplomacy in this game? It's, it, I find it, I find it very annoying. I have to say, Ooh, uh, they are probably going to attack me again. Yeah, and I can no longer retreat, so I will lose these guys. Yep. 
Yep. Your grievance available. I am listening. You have but one chance to save your stinking. Things change. I withdraw my demands. Yeah, but I don't. Jesus Christ, this is this is annoying. I mean, we we negotiate open borders, and then they attack my units. I mean, why? Now I lost my scouts. I mean, why? I don't get it. Okay, diplomacy in this game is not fun. Let me tell you that. So what do I do with you guys? You can't go up there, so uh, you might as well call, come all the way back here. So what do we have? Memphis. Memphis has built a commons quarter and we are now still losing stability. <clears throat> So we'll build another one. Uh, where can we do that? Um, well, definitely not. Definitely not there. Definitely not there. So if we do it there, we'll lose... Uh, uh, we don't have any good spots left. Well, minus one food. But other than that, it seems to be fine. Okay, we'll do it there. So, Ninua. Ninua has built the uh, stoneworks. What do we need to focus on? Food wouldn't be bad. So, it's a border city. Actually, let's build some walls. So, you build walls. Uh, how are you doing in terms of population? Um, now what is that? That is farm's quarter, that is maker's quarter, that's another farm's quarter. That is an artisan quarter. Um, yeah, let's build stonework. So that's that. And then you have built a water mill. Um, yeah, that certainly helps with industry. Well, Thebes has a lot of industry. Jesus Christ. Um, it could do with a little bit more production. What is that? Manuscript Atelier. Um, actually, let's do that one. We need a little bit more industry. We have our walls. <clears throat> and then we'll need to go into building uh, more troops. I want another army, as I already said. Do we have enough? We have enough influence to unlock another civic, actually. So, which one do we want? Less industry cost, land rights. Plus 10 food on of attached, of attached territories on all cities. Hmm. That is actually great here. We can do that with money instead of influence. Land rights. Knowledge. Plus one of the right roads. Uh, that will be great, but it moves us into the wrong direction. It moves us into the wrong direction. I don't want that. Industrial production. Um, that one will move us to the left or to the right. What is that? Plus 10% production, plus 10% money. Uh, where are we currently? We are already a little bit to the right. Uh, that is not really not worth it. More farmers. Okay, I don't really want that. Scientific fact. Literalism. Plus five signs on holy site. We do have quite a few holy sites, so um, that's actually not too bad. Religious tolerance. So we want that to be there, not there. Hmm. 
we we want that exactly where it is right now we don't want to change that so religious tolerance no that, that wasn't the one where is it the uh, scientific fact plus five science and holy side plus five faith plus, okay but that's actually the one we want here so uh, we lose five stability though um, <clears throat> we'll lose five stability if we do that <clears throat> no no we won't we won't we won't do any of these we won't do any of these so uh, what was it? What is that? So let's end the turn. Culture chosen. The Romans reached the classical era and kept their. That can't be. That can't be right. The Romans are a classical era culture. So how can they reach the classical era? <laughs> I'm sure they wanted to say the medieval era. So um, yeah, whatever. So end turn. Okay, we apparently have a problem with our boat. Where is it? Where is our boat? Army lost at sea. No, we don't have a problem with... Um, okay. You know what, guys? Can you please... I will get to you next turn. They're quite damaged. So, auto move on, on ships, not a good idea. Hmm? So Parsa built something. Parsa is now at the maximum. 17 of 17. So they can't gain they can't gain more population, right? If it says 17, 17, they can't get more. I think. Let's find out. Let's in five turns they should gain one more. Let's build a wall and see what happens in five turns. What is happening over here? Knowledge. Osmosis event. Yeah, okay, you guys Blades go over water. here. And then... You cannot heal in this territory, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, yeah, whatever. I need to manually get them back into our territory. So, Look skip, skip the turn, please. Thank you. Memphis needs to build something. We are now good on what is that? That is a scout rider. Actually, let's build two of these guys. Let's build two of these guys. We need to do some scouting later. So what else? Um, now the question of course is, do I want to send an army over there? I mean, I, I, I paid those guys a lot of gold so I can move into their territory. Let me test something. If I, if I send an army in right. there, will they attack the army? So what did you build? You built stoneworks. Uh, do you have a harbor? Okay, so let's... Uh, you have your walls as well, so let's build this. Let's... No, actually, let's not build this. Let's... Ah! Eh? Let's first... Where is it? Plus one science per researches, plus two researcher slots. Let's build this, then... Where is it? Let's build this. Let's build this. Let's build this, okay. Black soil, okay. Can we build a research quarter on that? Uh, not too good of an idea, so... Um, Let's end the turn here. It's 
So this is just an experiment. I just want to see if they attack me or if they leave me alone. So these are all the English I could uh, send our uh, scouts right over there then. So... At the catch. End the turn. Yeah, we will be very shortly have... We will very shortly have our next era star. Uh, so these guys... So far, I don't see any problem. We can't obviously go into their city, but uh, I don't see any problems other than that. Yeah, they, they seem to leave me alone, so... Keep up the pace. I don't know. Blades in the water. I do not know. Well, there's a curiosity over there, but I can't do anything about that. Um, what do we have in Dur Kurigalzu? Can we now finally build our Barai? Yes, we can. So, plus 12, plus 17. That is not bad. <laughs> plus 19, plus 15. 18, 15, 17, 18. 17, 19. Uh, 16, 19. So 19, 15, 16, 19 is actually better overall. Um, yeah, that's the best one I see. 16, 19. Oh, 17, 20. Tw what? That's... Well... Yeah, 17, 20 is actually the best one we get. So let's build a Borai and let's build it right there. Uh, we're already losing stability again, but we'll take care of that uh, after we build the Borai. Uh, yes, we will. So we have our army station. There. What, will, what, what do they want to do? So we have Kusa. Kusa has built a granary. Uh, what do we need next? Uh, stability is stable. <clears throat> Um, yeah, let's, let's build a scribe. House of scribes. Let's do that. What's that? Food market. Um, plus two food on the river. No, oh, let's do that. Let's do that afterwards. So, uh, we have Thebes. Thebes has, uh, Thebes has, what has Thebes? Uh, Thebes. Uh, do we want to build a watchtower? I don't know. Um, stability is stable. Food? Well, we are not growing as fast as I would like. So let's see where we can get some food. Plus 14. Plus 17. Uh, 15, 16. 17 over here. Plus 20 foot. What the? Plus 24, we'll lose, uh, we'll lose a little bit of um, production, but 24 food? Well, don't, uh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let's end the turn. Where are we building our scouts? Why? Let me have a let me have a look. Why aren't these guys getting built? What is going on? No pending construction. Scout riders. Oh, I'm stupid. That's the problem. So um, get moving. Yeah, I need obviously. We'll keep an eye on things. I obviously need to uh, take the army out if I want to do this. And actually, I, I figure I can have one more unit per army. Okay, we'll do that, definitely. We do have the money, so uh, we'll, we'll uh, make use of that additional slot as soon as possible. So, um, what is going on? Yes, Station, idle city, Ninua. Ninua has built a wall and is now protected. 
so what can we do to uh, further improve Ninova? Uh, we can have a customs farm. We could have a theater, which will give me addi additional influence, which is always good. Uh, and we can obviously boost our uh, science, but you know what? We, uh, we are not doing too great on artisan workshop. Where can we have an artisan workshop? Eh? Oh, that is a... Uh, okay. Okay, we'll do that one. And then we'll do the uh, plus one science per population one. And then we'll do... Uh, what's that? Manuscript Atelier. We'll do that one. So, yeah, they have something to do. Um, and turn. Era star unlocked, and we could uh, now technically progress to the next era. New grievance available. You have my ear. Tell me what you wish to discuss. Um, demand. No one abuses my people without consequences. An act of sheer stupidity. Uh, no, my demands. They have grievances. Okay, whatever. I have demands. Uh, I will not withdraw them. I don't know why I should do that. Um, yeah, and you will have... You'll have to wait for the next turn. So, this seems to go alright up here. So, let's... Let's have a look. Where is Memphis? So, we have our guy here that... He can go over there. So we have two, right? Uh, we have two of these. Do I want five? That's the question here. Or even six. I mean, how strong are you? 19 is not too strong. Um, I mean, it would be nice if you could defend yourselves. How much movement do you have? You have six movement. Do I have any other units that have six movement? I don't think so. We can't have a chariot because reasons. And the other guys are all very much slower. So the only thing I see here that we could do is... Um, hmm. If I, if I do a feast... It will give some food which will help with uh, growth. And after that we have more population that we can use. So we'll build another one of these guys. We'll, we'll build the biggest scout army we can. So what do you guys... So Oh, we are now over 17, which doesn't seem to be good. So uh, I will now make more units for my armies so let's see <clears throat> actually no let's let's first no actually let's let's build units for our armies uh what do we want here so we have two ranged units and we have three of these guys actually i want another ranged unit i want three and three because ranged units are great so let's build two of these crossbowmen Remind me later. I was just a little bit caught off guard by that. So let's have a look here. Now we won't we won't progress right now because we don't need to. So well, uh, but we'll have a look at who we could become. So we be could become the Dutch. Ooh, a lot of money. That is a lot of money. We have quite a large population. What is that? That is the district. Okay, a lot of money again. And a special ship. Okay. Then the Hodenoshori. Some Indians from North America. So let's see what they get. Plus one food from exploitation. Three, th three sisters plantation. Um, yeah, no. Joseon, these are Koreans, I think. 
Hall of Worthies. Science on tile producing science. So every tile that produces science gets an additional three. That's actually quite cool. Sail worn plus two infants minus ten ability plus two science. That's the science quarter special one. So they have quite a powerful ship here. Uh, then we have the Ming, uh, obviously Chinese. Uh, Grand Secretariat. Um, cost of enacting civic, cost of cancelling civic, plus one influence on territory. Grand Tea House, plus stability, plus influence. Uh, okay, and the rocket card. So then we have the Indians, the Mughals, uh, who can they, what can they provide? Plus two industry per number of territories in your sphere of influence on capital. Okay, that is not bad. <laughs> Chama Mashit, Mashit. Industry per worker, plus two influence, plus three industry influence. Okay. Another elephant, an elephant with a cannon on it. Grievous. Then we have the Ottomans, Turks basically. Supremacy of fire, heavy weapon, minus 50% on heavy weapon industry cost, plus three combat strength on heavy weapons. Sultan Kami. Kami? Okay, plus one faith per district, uh, plus three influence. Hmm. Hmm. And we have the Janissaries. So who else? The Poles! Deadly Ramparts. I don't really see that. Barbican? No, no, I don't really see that. The Spanish? On Union starting and turning a non-allied territory. Oh, that is powerful if you go conquering. Um, faith for population. Cathedral Gothica. Okay. And Conquistadores. Yeah, then we have the Japanese. Uh, plus one influence per population. On city or outpost. Whoa! That will give us a lot of influence. Um, Terra? Uh, influence and faith? No. Uh, then we have the Venetians. Plus one money per number of trade routes on city or open. Supposed to be no trade route. No, it's too specific. I believe. Uh, I believe. Now, of course, the emblematic uh, district of these guys is awesome. If we would be able to build more of these. Plus one money per population on all cities. I mean, that is obviously awesome. Plus 20 money on per adjacent harbor. I mean, what? That is, that is insane. That is insane. And we have a good ship. Um, ranged combat in the place of lanyards which embark to travel across ocean tile. Oh, okay. So the unit isn't too sexy, but uh, that money? I'll have another look at that. For now, we will not, will not, uh, will not choose anything. So we'll just keep on playing in the current era. Whoa, Parsa. Parsa. Parsa lost population. Why? I don't know why. What is that? Yeah, 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 whatever. So we have a uh, hunting party. What the hell? Um, hunting party. Uh, you just stay put, please. Okay, so you guys over here. Then we have Thebes. Thebes has built a farmer's quarter. Um... What else do you want? Stability until it reaches 92. That's still okay. Um, so we could build artisan workshop. 
yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. <laughs> we have an ass, ass load of, uh, of industry already on this city, but yeah, why not? We'll still, we'll, we'll, we can still do that. Uh, okay, what the hell? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, definitely. Okay. So, and we also might do a watchtower because we would then be able to see what's going on over here. Era star unlocked. Yeah, we are now uh, unlocking Era stars uh, left and right. So let's get these guys out of here. Um, let's get the these guys out of here. So thank you. So uh, you, um, you over there, and then skip the turn, please. On the water. So Memphis has finished building something. Um, how are we doing? So this will take six turns. Um, yeah, you do this and then you do another one of these guys. So you built a farmer's quarter. Uh, you can still use more food actually. Yes, you can. So let's let's do another food. Um, let's do another food. Where is it? How are we doing on stability? We can afford it. So uh, plus seven, plus nine, plus eleven, plus five, plus ten, plus thirteen, plus fourteen. So we'll do it right there. And then after that, we uh, we want to do the uh, watchtower. So we, we see a little bit more out into the water. Hopefully that will actually do something. We built a watch... We did build a watchtower here, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. Completed. Watchtower. Standing tall over the watchtower. Yeah. Um... Next upgrade, fort. I don't really see a fort, barracks. Yeah, there's a fort right there, but I don't have any copper. That is ridiculous. Um, so I built this guy and this guy needs to go over here. And we built another one. So you come down At here. And then we'll end the turn. Uh, what? Yeah, population gain. How are we doing? We are now far ahead of the uh, second one. The second one actually being the Ghanaians. Now, obviously, they are... They are doing quite well for themselves because they... Have... All that land to expand into and nobody is opposing them. So they, they might become an endgame adversary for us osmosis event yep yeah, whatever so let's see we build another one of these guys so uh these can go right here oh actually no they can go they can go right there and these guys need to go out because we uh, we want to build units there so yeah you need to be outside and you guys go over there that looks all right. So, Understood. yeah, you go around that. Then Parsa needs to build something. How are we doing? In six turns, we are getting uh, another population. So we actually build watchtowers everywhere. Uh, we don't need to pay upkeep for any of this, don't we? No, actually, it's just we just build army upkeep, so we can build whatever the hell we like, and it doesn't cost us upkeep. So yeah, let's let's do the watchtower here. Let's do that one as well. Uh, actually, let's get rid of that one. Let's do that one first, and then let's do that one, and then we'll see what else. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> New grievance available. Why? Sovereign, how can I help you? 
You're looking at things all wrong. That's the problem. We'll refuse Circumstances that one. have changed. I withdraw my demand. My Okay, whatever. Um So these guys, you go in there. That is good. Then what else? Um we need to move our boat. We can end the turn. Uh, and we can move our boat again. And then we can go to Durkurgal's world. So we are losing a lot of stability. So um, we need to do something about that. We have built our Barai. Uh, we can't build anything that will give us stability. So we will build a common squad then. So... Only minus two food. We can actually afford that, I would say. So let's build it right there. What else? Um, Kusa. Kusa? Where is my army? My army is over there. You come back here, please. And Kusa can actually build a uh, crossbowman. Is that right? Yes, you can build a crossbowman. So let's do that. Let's build one of these guys, and then afterwards, uh, afterwards we'll come back and have a look. So Thebes needs to build something. They have built a watchtower. Thebes is quite a large city, so they can also build a crossbowman uh, and then send him up there. And it's already finished, so immediately send it up there. So what else do we have? We have these guys. Please fortify. And you... Well, you need to go that way. Um, so we have these guys. Now we have four. We need two more. How are we doing? We are still doing well on population. Uh, which means... Should we do another one of these? Before we build another scout. Actually, let's do one of these. And let's do two scouts in a row then. Then, Thebes. Thebes has built a crossbowman and is now out of stuff to build. So, uh, we don't want the customs farm. That doesn't do anything. Um, we could do better on food. Uh, we are doing well on stability right now. What else could we do? What else? Um, we want another farm squad. We would. Uh, we would need a uh, common squad first. So minus two. What is that? This is three and four. This will give us minus three. So it's three and four now. It it will be two and two afterwards. So I will lose one and two, but I will gain, actually, quite a bit. Okay, let's do a common squadron then. Let's do it. Let's let's sacrifice that output and then afterwards let's immediately do another farmer's quarters plus 19. But plus 32, are you insane? Uh, don't mind if I do. What the hell? So, uh, let's end the turn. Okay. This needs Ready to move. Roll. Then we have another army up here. That needs to merge in there. And we can already end the turn. You have unlocked seafaring. Ah, to safely travel the dangerous, hungry oceans. You can cause trouble anywhere you want now, and have a better chance of getting away with it. So I can now cross deep ocean, okay? New grievance available. If I cannot teach you wisdom, I will teach you regret. You have a different straight relation. Original, original reparation is no longer possible. The Mongols must now pay you... Yeah, I will demand that. Faith is a powerful thing. But I will refuse your these. proposal is too much of a ball and chain on my ambitions. Yeah, I don't need to listen to that. Um, then we'll need to go over here. We'll need to have a look at Kusa who has built a crossbowman. So, 
what else can you build? Uh, we are doing good on stability. We could do better. But for the moment we are alright. We'll build a watchtower. And we'll build an artisan workshop. Because that gives us more industry. Okay, we'll actually do that one. And then we'll do that one as well. We have a shit ton of influence now. What? Oh, we, we, we are not researching anything. So let's see, what do we want to research? Um, Armory. Alchemy. Uh... Ooh, that could be beneficial. Uh, but we can't do it because we don't have cop. Are you serious? Minus 10 pollution. Uh, commodity market. Saboteur. Let's. What's that? Iphones. We can. Jesus Christ. Let's let's research chivalry for now. We need to find. We need to find someone who is willing to trade us. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is going on? I dishonor my people by sharing air with you. Abandon your idols! Embrace the truth! Okay, we have a ton of these now. What the... Greetings. Adopt the faith of my lands, or die! Very well. I hope this does not lead to my political demise. Oh, they have accepted. Cool. They have actually accepted. What does the mill ask of the grist? Adopt the faith of my lands, or die! Give recompense, and this error can be overlooked. Okay, um... Demand received. Knowledge. What the hell? What is Hail, going on? Sovereign. My people know true faith. Yours do not. That must change. Who do you think you are? I don't know, the most powerful civilization on Earth? Doesn't that count for something? Hail, Sovereign. Abandon your idol! Your Holy proposal is too much of a... So, okay. I have no idea how this works. I will just you click on some buttons here. My attention. Uh, no. So what else? Trade routes blocked, trade route blocked. We have a little bit of a problem with our trade routes. Trade routes. So the Greeks yielded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trade route. Demand received. Yeah, what the fucking hell just happened? What is this? Oh, uh. So we need to find someone with copper. So let's ask the English actually. What do we have here? Try treaties, crisis, relations. What is going on? What are all these exclamation marks doing here? Uh... Okay, whatever. So let's... I don't know what this all means. I, I'll just have, ask the English. Do you have... No, you don't. Uh, who else? The Greeks? I will go to war with them, but... I can still ask. Trade. Silk. Does anyone have copper in this damn game? So what about these guys? Norsemen. No. Does anyone... Anyone have copper? Does any... Jesus Christ, that is not... So these are the Mongols. Uh, he doesn't look like a Mongol, but uh, whatever. Horses. I, I have horses. I don't need more horses. Oh, Jesus Christ. What about the Ghanaians? 
horses. No one has fucking copper. What is going on? Byzantines? How do you do? In every sense of the question. No one has copper. What is going on? Jesus Christ. And just looking at my big territory here, I have no copper in this? No copper? Like, what? what, what is going on? I have iron two iron mines i don't have copper that is insane okay just so i said that new grievance available oh jesus what is going on greetings mighty yeah demand adopt the faith of yeah yeah adopt uh then we have this one the snake approaches yeah, whatever. Uh, you want to see my snake? I can show it to you. So, um... What fresh hell do you bring this time? I don't know. I don't know. The game tells me I have a new grievance, but I have no idea what it means by that. This is so, so confusing. Jesus Christ. Trade route blocked. Yeah, yeah, you can block all the trade routes you, you want. I don't care a bit. Uh, okay, so we are really hindered by not having copper. God damn it. There is copper down there. We really need to get our uh, troops across there and uh, demand that copper. We, we really need to. Uh, we need copper and we need it desperately. So what we will do, apparently we now have ocean travel. So... Uh, as soon as I have my six scouts full here, and actually let me let me already uh, let me get them. Actually, we can't. No, we can't. Yeah, they're in the right spot because these guys can't. Well, actually, they can. So um, let's right. move these over there. Let's move these down there, and let's move these up there. So um, let's get these guys started a little bit closer to the coast. Why did I... Uh, what? No! Remind me later. I have no desire to do this right now. Um, oh, can I upgrade these? No, I can't. I need to be in allied territory. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, whatever. So, yeah, I need to get my uh, scouts across there and claim this territory as fast as possible. Uh, actually, I wanted to merge cities, didn't I? Can I merge cities? How do I merge cities? How do I no it right no uh, let, let me let me click on the city here. How can I merge cities? I mean Durkurga and Kusha, these two I want I really want to uh not liberate. Um I did research it, didn't I? I did, did research the one, yeah. Gives the ability to merge several cities, so. I have a city here and I have another one over there and I want to merge these. Absorb, yeah, that's 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 the word, yeah. So actually, I need to click on Kusa. And then I can click on Absorb over here. How much does this cost? Two... Two... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Two hundred... Twenty-nine thousand! Are you freaking kidding me? How, how am I supposed to, to afford that? Two hundred... <laughs> no, just... Just no! I mean... Are you insane? I mean, I'm making about 500 influence per turn. And even if I would make a thousand influence per turn, I would need still need to owe 200 turns to be able to afford that. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, this, this can't... Th there is absolutely no possibility that this is right. There needs to be a buck. I mean, 229,000. To merge these two cities. No! I mean, I just... 
just no forget it uh, what i mean it's cheaper down here for some reason Or did I click on the on the wrong city? No, if I click on Kusa, it wants 229,000. For some reason, it doesn't want as much for uh, for Babylon. What? And if I go to Parsa and say I want to attach wells now? Babylon is really cheap. Oh, I think it has to do with the number of districts. But well, that means still 60,000. 60! Thousand. Are you serious, guys? I mean, if you build in a gameplay feature, then please make it possible for the player to actually use it. And there's no way I can use this. I mean, it would make sense to merge these two cities, but 229,000. No, okay, I, I have to finish. I mean, we have an hour already, so I need to finish the episode anyway. So, um, let's, let's forget about that for the moment, and let's, yeah, let's, uh, wrap up things. So, yeah, we are still building up for our war with the Greeks, and since we can't merge these damn cities, we can't go to war until the next era, until we get the next technology that uh, allows us to have one more city. And the other problem is we need to found a city down here anyway, so... Yeah. So actually, since the Ghanaians are close on our heels, we'll actually go to the next era in the next episode. And then we'll, well, we'll use that technology. Um, where is it? Where is the one? That's the one we need. Naval artillery. No, that's not the one we need. We need actually, we need this one. Oof, that means we need to go down this route. We also need to have guilds. Oh, Jesus Christ. It will be, it will be a while until we can afford another city. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, why? Okay, now it is what it is. So we'll... We'll get down here, we'll claim territory, and we'll have to wait until we can make another city. And we really can't go to war right now with the Greeks. That's annoying. Yeah, whatever. Maybe we can have a civic or something. That'll, or a wonder that will give us uh, another, another city slot. We'll see. We'll see in the next episode. I hope you liked today's episode. It wasn't very eventful. But uh, we are making progress, we are now definitely snowballing uh, and we will continue to snowball once we reach the next era and we'll have to see which civilization I want to pick. Um, there's, there, there wasn't one that uh, particularly uh, convinced me, <laughs> so I will have to have another look at these, uh, which one I want to take. And yeah, we'll see us, we'll see us back then. If you liked the episode, please leave a like below, be back next time and until then I wish you all the best, have a great time. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy and yeah, until then, bye!